All right, so today we're gonna do something a little different than normal. As uh, last night, as I'm recording this on Wednesday, this will probably be uploaded on either Thursday or Friday. Um, but uh, last night we ended up uh, having the best possible scenario going into our last game and then choke the last game to get kicked out of the playoffs. Uh, we didn't even lose the last game. We we drew the last game, but a draw is a loss in that, that tournament format. So we were the last team out of the playoffs, which is really infuriating and maddening, but it's okay. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do today is uh, kind of like give you the Cove background story, right? So, uh, let's, uh, take it back to, to 2015 and the, the demolition team of break. This was a clan that I was on in, in my original account. Uh, we were very much a tier six clan. Um, I'm still friends with, the uh, the two guys who ran it. They were twin brothers and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, I'm still, I kind of keep in touch with them anyway. Um, and then uh, we get to 2017. I just graduated high school. I had a lot more time on my hands, even though I was beginning my first job. Uh, I, or I started my first job that summer. Uh, break had completely died out at that point. But... Um, what we ended up having happen is, well, I left. I was just going to be on my own. Then I got a uh, invite to join Alliance, um, which is uh, quite honestly one of the most unorganized clans that I've ever been in. So there's that. Um, was there for a long time, honestly. Too long. I was the best player there. I called literally the the only good team that they had. And uh, with no comp experience I was calling at this point. It was about October... 30th of 2017 is when I started calling for them and then we went me and a group of guys set up ITKU which uh, was kind of just like our retirement home from uh, from Alliance um, it shows that I went back for a day to Alliance and I don't know why that is because that's just not true um Basically, we spent a year or so in uh, ITKU uh, with minimal success. And then we uh, got in touch with Rumrunner151. Or did we get in touch with him? And I don't remember. At some point in this time, I met Rumrunner151. And Rumrunner is... Uh, Pretty much the guy who, who was running Vibe when I joined uh, Vibe. Right, so we're talking three or four years ago is when I met Rum. So uh, Fix was the first like actual good clan that I was in for the most part. Uh, that wasn't just our team carrying the entire clan. Um, this is where I met Mike for the first time. This is where I met Dunder for the first time. Um, just a lot of people that are in Vibe, I met them in Fix. Um, or, I guess, those two <laughs> I met in Fix. Um, me and Mike did the majority of the calling in Fix, from what I remember. Me, uh, Mike, Golf, and Rum, I think we all just kind of like split up the calling. And then Sortek also did a little bit, but he was the commander. Uh, and then we also had another caller, but yikes. Um, anyway, uh, 
the new Call of Duty game came out in 2020, and when that happened, uh, we completely lost whatever um, activity we had, or late 2019, I think is when it came out, and so, yeah, we, we basically just lost all activity in that clan. Uh, it was it was really moving upwards with the rum recruiting and all that, and then uh, then we went to Triple S for two whole years, and uh, yeah, obviously you've seen some of the people from Triple S. I've played with them. I've uh, been on stream with them. Um, a lot of good guys in there. Uh, they're tons of fun to play with. Uh, and uh, I've I really enjoyed my time in Triple S when I was in there. Uh, you may see that I did leave Triple S in uh, July of 2020. Uh, the group I was playing with that went to Triple S, we uh, played the campaign, and we weren't, or they weren't very happy with how the campaign went, right? And so they decided they were all gonna go to Cold One, right? And, uh, I didn't want to leave at that point. I was, I was just not, not in a spot where I really wanted to, to move clans yet. But, so anyway, just to get a conversation and I left the clan and joined back the next day. So, all in all, my time there was really fun and uh yeah and then i really just wanted to better myself as a player uh so far uh, i've been one of if not i don't want to say the best I, i've been one of the best players in every single clan that i've been in up to this point uh that honestly didn't really change in any of these clans honestly competitive wise i just have a lot more experience than most other players coming into either vibe uh the players that were coming into relay the players that were pulling into triple s the players that we were pulling in fix i just even when i was in fix i still just had more comp experience which just makes you a better comp player and there's it's not ego that's making me say this it's just kind of the truth um it, there's a lot of like nuances in competitive play that just you have to, uh, you really have to, uh, have the experience to, um, to get into, to playing competitive correctly and not playing it like a pub battle, right? So, then anyway, anyway uh, December rolled around and, uh, I was kind of just, I was tired of the same old, same old in Triple S, and I, I wanted to become even a better player. And uh, I wasn't tired of any of the people or anything like that. I just I, I was ready for something different. And one of my friends in Triple S decided he was also ready for something different. And so we both went over to Relic Armored Ox, which. Uh, it's technically where I met Shoe Blake for the first time, because uh, we were both in uh, Relic Mantis together. Uh, he, even though he wasn't in Relic or Relay at the time, we we uh, he was going to be brought in as a caller in Relay, and then he got a better offer. Obviously. Um. But yeah, I just, Relay was a mess. Like, there was just, it was a lot of, for what I was expect. I was expecting a mu much more people, you know, my age. Like, like it is in Vibe, right? So, basically in Vibe, we're all around the same age. Like, we have some, some older people, we have people in their 30s, 40s, but that's, to be expected in World of Tanks, but, like, most of the people are in their 20s and, like, teens, right? Like, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Like, the, that's, like, our big melting pot of age, right? I think most of our players fit into their uh, 20s. 
And so that's uh, that's kind of the reason I I didn't enjoy it so much in Rally. That they have a lot more thirty and forty year olds, right? And, and I couldn't really relate to them as well as I can relate to the other guys in five, right? But anyway, I leave uh, Rally in January of twenty twenty two. This is a week before tank campaign. I wasn't put on a team. <laughs> at all for relay and uh that kind of that kind of pissed me off because uh i i was proving myself to be an invaluable resource to the uh, new callers in relay at the time and uh yeah they just ignored that because i wasn't in their inner circle right because I looked at the teams, and I mean, it was just inner. Like, there's a there's a weird thing, right? In Relay, where, or at least it used to be, because they've now changed uh, the format of that clan. So, basically, what was happening is there was there was a group that was always going to be the A team, and there there was no way to get into the A team unless one of those people were to leave the clan. They didn't say that that was the A-team, but that was the A-team. That was always going to be the A-team. And the rest of the teams, they, they kind of sucked, not going to lie. And I was just like, I was looking at the players on it, and I was just like, really? And uh, a lot of times, clans, they, they, they will overlook your competitive play due to pub stats, right? Now, uh, I'm not one to have good pub stats because <laughs> I don't play pubs correctly. Um, I play pubs to have fun, not to get great stats, right? I, I don't want to be the best player in the game. I, I want to always be getting better, but I don't want to be the best player in the game. That's just... That doesn't... That's never been, like something i've i've wanted to do like i've never wanted to be over 3000 to be an eight because i just don't think that's reasonable for me um now maybe maybe in 2017 when i was 18 years old yeah maybe i did want to um maybe i did want to like get a a 3k recent or something like that and i think i actually did at one point um because that was when i was two marking the is for the yeah, IS-4 had really, really low WNA Rex back then, but I, I've never, never been over eagerly tistic about a clan not putting me on a team, right? Or, or not putting me on their A team, right? But uh, not be, not being put on any team when you're available for all the nights of the campaign except for two. That, uh, that kind of stung me and, uh, ran me off of Relay. So, I messaged Rum Runner, and I'm like, yo, hey, I just want to play a campaign. <laughs> I'm not going to be here for these zoo days. Do you have space in Vibe? And he was like, no, I got plenty of space, don't worry about it. And, uh, so I dropped X and I joined, uh, I joined Vibe. And then, uh, this is, uh, some of the, some of the most fun I've had in a clan. It, I have to take that with a, I have to say that with a grain of salt because, uh, or with an asterisk because, uh, Patriots and, and career playing with them. And, uh, some of the stuff that me and Niper and Mushu have done, uh, we, we've, we, I had a lot of fun in Triple S and, uh, and Vibe, so, I mean, there's just, like, it's a, it's a toss-up between the two, honestly, like, my friends in Vibe versus my friends in Triple S, I wouldn't put them against each other whatsoever, because, you know, uh, when you meet good people, right, and you, uh, you get along with people really well, uh, you kind of, like, 
Hold on to that. You don't try to let it go. That's why I still play advances with Triple S. I still go into the team speak every so often. Like I, I, I still like to to talk to those guys because they're they're good guys. And uh, if if I were to ever leave the uh, the core group of vibe that I'm really good friends with, I, I'd still keep in touch with them because there's there's no reason not to, right? Like. If you, if you like people and, and you want to continue having a relationship with them, even if it's not a working relationship, that uh, a working relationship that you're like playing together or, or working at a certain job anymore, you, you still got to keep in touch with those people if you want to remain friends with them, right? So, um, with that being said, I think that's plenty of recap of my competitive career so far and uh yeah uh anyway uh to the vibers who played this gold season and anyone else that we played against this gold season uh i've had tons of fun this gold season and uh hopefully i don't have to sweat that hard in a gold season again i played basically every night we played except for like i took maybe a total of two weeks off 14 days off of that gold season uh, just for just for like mental health like you can't play for two and a half months straight uh every night for multiple hours in a competitive um in a competitive way or style or format i guess and stay mentally on top of yourself and and on top of your game so I, I do take breaks. Um, I will be taking a break uh, for the rest of this week, probably from at least World of Tanks, as uh, I think it's about time. Uh, after today, obviously, because I still have to record a video for today. But uh, yeah, thanks for keeping uh, keeping me going here on the on the old YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah, I will uh, catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and uh, bye-bye.